Yes, not long to go now until the game in the Legion Stadium. The build-up is certainly, it's certainly been fantastic. We can't wait. How big is this moment? How big is this for the game of rugby league? Yeah, look, the thing about this moment here, Brains, that we're all experiencing now, is, is every now and then rugby league gets it right. And it elevates rugby league in the Australian sporting landscape above every other sport. And, and I think no other sport in Australia has actually been able to do it like rugby league has at different times. It doesn't get it always right, and sometimes it takes a while. But the really, truly big moments, you go back to the Sydney Olympics, it was a massive moment for Australia, and everybody's felt so patriotic and proud. And, and this is one of those moments where, look, I, I've heard you know, people who are AFL fans sort of try and you know, shit pot what rugby league's trying to do here. But this has got the country talking, and, th and that's what it's done. It, it's taken rugby league from, a, from a, one of the sports in Australia to a sport that right now everybody in Australia is talking about. Well, I, I think our product stands up with, the, with every other code in the world. I know 10 years ago, you know, the footy, like um, uh, the NFL bought a team out, the baseball come out and played at the SCG. So yeah. if it's good enough for, for America to bring their big stars out, I think it's good enough for our to bring our product. I'm out here, and yeah. that's the only way that we can grow. Yeah, it's really important to mention we've had 15,000 people come from Australia. We've had a couple of thousand come from the north of England, yeah. Super League fans I've met today, great people. Um, there'll be another 20,000 at that stadium on top of the Rugby League Tragics, mm. and they're Americans or ex-pats living here. To introduce them to our game, it's not just about Sunday, it's a five-year program. We're going to be back here every year, and while we won't quite sell it out on Saturday night here, I guarantee in five years' time there'll be a bigger queue for tickets. Well, we might sell it out, who knows, who knows yeah. as we get closer to the game. Now, a lot of people say rugby league isn't the world game, but Volandi's taking it to the world, isn't he, really? I mean, he, he's taken it head on. No one believed that it was going to happen. He's, be, he's delivered. It's pretty exceptional. Well, that's, that's Peter's reputation. You know, he's a bulldozer. He just finds a way to get things done that uh, go against the grain of, of common thinking. He, he's done that his whole life. He's doing that again. Uh, and look, rugby league, you know, we, it is not a world game, but, but the game, the game's a great game. Uh, and, and, and what he's doing here, there's a lot of plans in place here, not, a lot more than what we're hearing as well, but there's a lot of plans in place and, and the game is, is going out there. And as I said, it, it, in, within the Australian landscape, it is just sitting at top of the pile right Can't now. The AFL is sitting there right now, yeah. Previous administrations weren't as adventurous as yeah. Peter Philandis and they weren't prepared to take risks like he does. Mm. And that is why we're here. And it's going to cost a lot of money, but as I said, it's a long-term project. It's great. Well, we heard from Peter a little earlier. Let's take a listen. Well, I think the win isn't so much the crowd that goes to the game. We're expecting at least 40,000. We've sold 38,000 tickets, and they say that you know five or 6,000 will walk into the gates tomorrow. So we might get 45 to 50,000, which, which will be a spectacular result because the last NFL... Thank you. And all credit to Andrew, Ab Andrew Abdo and his team, they've done a terrific job. There's been a lot of hard work being done behind the scenes and I'll just take the opportunity to thank all the NRL staff that are here because without their efforts we wouldn't have been able to do it. But the, the success will be how many people watch it on Fox 1. Fox 1 goes to over 100 million viewers in the United States. The more that view it, the more successful it'll be. And we, we need to talk it because we want to have a game on Fox 1 every week for the next, 50, for the next few, six months. And that will be a success. Yeah, that was Peter Volandi. He's only a few moments ago at the Fox League launch. Uh, he's, he's ready to rock, isn't he? Well, how excited would you be as a player, right? So I think we are the biggest game in Australia. We can't keep on competing against AFL. But to take our product, as I said, and... And some of the superstars, and I'm talking about the Reese Walsh and the Tedesco's and the Nathan Cleary's and the skill that they come up with and the pain has, I think Americans will see it and they will enjoy it. They mightn't get it at first because we didn't get their game at first. But I tell you what, I'm you think pretty sure they'll, they'll love enjoy it, it, wouldn't they? I mean, they love the contact. It's so close to their game. They get four downs, they get a punt, they get a defensive team. And I yeah. think that there are some similarities that they will get onto. Look, there's a lot, of, there's a lot that they can draw on from... Yeah. The NFL, uh, yeah, it, basically, you, you go way back when into the 1800s, they, they both were birthed from the same game. Yes. Just it took wildly different tracks. Yeah. Uh, look, 
Oh, it's got to take. It's a long slog. I, I think that the, the hope to try and break into the American sporting market's pretty ambitious, uh, and I don't know. Look, the, Kenny, it's uh, a better game. Well, yeah, it, but, it's, it's, okay. it is. Yeah, but Buzz, but Buzz, <laughs> the, the NFL. A better game. The, look, for many, many years, for over a hundred years, baseball was America's game. Now it's the NFL. It is a monster, and that's that's what rugby league's trying to pitch into. Yeah. It's going to take. I actually don't, I, I don't believe but, I'll ever but, get there. Teddy, you've watched NFL and you've watched a lot of rugby league. Yes. And you look at our athletes, you look at our Walshers, our Latrells, our Tom Turbos, oh, our Teddies. Great athletes. They're we great are, great are a little biased though. They, but but no, they've got no, great no, athletes not. too. I, I think it's a better game than NFL. Well, I think I, we all do, but we, yeah, you know, yeah. the Americans... They've got great athletes. Yeah, Buzz, they're, they're, they, they're Kenny, unbelievable. Kenny, look, I'm not in bag NFL, but... But you can, are. No, no. <laughs> But hold on, don't they have two teams? One comes on to yes, defend, no, one comes on to attack. They don't get a break for fine. 80 minutes. There's no six again. That's, that's fine. Way that's, fine. Right. that's fine. But you are... Look, many years ago... It'll work, Kenny. Righto. <laughs> <laughs> many years ago, American baseball, Major League, took baseball to Australia and said, you know what, we're going to try and break in here. If they can sit and watch cricket for five days, they're going to love baseball. And the one thing they came back at after four or five years where it failed in Australia, the reason it failed is they said, you know what? There's too much tradition in cricket for baseball to ever overtake it. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be the same situation this way. The what rugby, rugby league can't sit and pretend that it's going to take over gridiron. NFL. Well, I can't pret- but all that. it's got to do is try and get, which Peter Vlandes has spoken to, just a piece in the market. Mm. And that's going to, that's yeah. going to be difficult enough. Some subscribers. I, and, well, I think the games are very similar. I think the fans, if they pay enough attention to it, will love the game. But the tradition right. is the hard part. I mean, you, you watch the Super Bowl. It won't it, happen. It, it's going to be hard to get there. But if we can get some... Look, Somewhere near there, we'll be happy. But I'll Brave, you, I keep saying we're not here just for Sunday. It's a long-term but project. We, we will be long dead before rugby league gets anywhere near NFL in but this look, country. I'm, Kenny, yeah, you, I, I didn't, didn't say that. that. You longer than me. No, no we're not going to be higher than that. <laughs> Hopefully. Jeez, I'm <laughs> <just> here, Kenny. <laughs> I Who really knows, you. Who knows? But oh. like Paul, to your point, it's like the UFC. It's the fastest-growing sport, right? And they've taken on... Boxing in this place, right? And there was Ali. Yeah, but boxing's no, also... Ah, in but there's a long but you're through. the guys twisting what I, I just said, in my opinion, it's a better game. Yeah, but... If I watch an NFL game... You're allowed to have an opinion too. I, I fast well, forward through... In support of what you said there, I've been to a Super Bowl, I've been to multiple Origins games, and to sit and watch each as a spectacle, Origins yeah, is well ahead. Yeah, thank well you. Ahead of it. There you uh, go, we, we all really agree. Are you saying I'm wrong? No, but <laughs> you're saying I'm wrong. <laughs> There's 350 million so, American people who disagree with you. Yeah. 